Um, good afternoon, guys, and welcome to the Room of Resilience Clothing. Um, today, we are here to learn something new, and it's about how to sew a senator way, how to cut and sew a senator way. So, let's move to the table and then start some cutting. But before then, please kindly subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos of this one. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, before we start, this is the good side of the fabric, and this is the bad side of the fabric. Here is the design part. So, there is a long sleeve senator way. So, since we are about to begin some cutting, we turn to the wrong side of the fabric and then we start the cutting. I don't know the time. You are the only one who gets it in the night. Yeah. What did you chop in that thing? Come on. Okay. So good. Okay. So now everything is said. So we come to the measurement of the person. Now today the chest that I'm using is 42 chest. Chest of 42. 42. And then the back of the person is 19. 19. The length of the fabric I'm going to, the length of the person that I'm going to use is 34. Yeah, 34 and um, we are going to use a sleeve length of that means 22 23 by 10 which is a calf sleeve so let's begin something let's begin some cutting I want us to design this fabric by a boss plate. So I measure both sides of the fabric so that it wouldn't be something to grab. Or some parts would be bigger than some parts. And when it comes to the chest of the person, the chest of the person is 42. So 42 plus so many other ones half. One, one inch at the other side and one inch so plus four you add four to both sides of the fabric so in this case um you have 48 as a whole so since we are going to fold this by two so 48 divided by two 48 divided by two we come to get to 24 24 as uh, and then 24 divided by 2 as well again so you come to have um, I think um, 12 okay. come to have 12 so the whole length I'm going to use now I'm going to use 12 12 and 12 plus another allowance I just want the folding side to be bigger enough so I'm going to use 13 here so 13 13 is here now many remaining here and so I need to have so 13 plus one and a half that is three 13 plus one and a half is 14 and a half so I need to get at least 14 and a half of this whole thing for the boss plates at the front part of it. Okay, I 
I'm on the pot now. Okay. So now I'm set with the setting of one fabric. So the length is thirty four. So you measure your thirty four plus the inner folding making it 36 so you take it to the other side and you measure the same thing I have my front part. Cut. Okay. So now I move on to the table to my machine to. Move to my machine to have my boss plate made. Before we move on to the table. As for me, I would like to finish making. I would like to finish making the front part, the boss pleats in front of the cloth before I come to continue with it. Uh, okay, let's finish with it. You can still use it in this same way. Which is the back block. So since the back is longer 
a little bit longer than the front part of the fabric. We are going to have the first one we have 36. 36 has the length of the whole thing. So plus three and a half. 3.5. So in all be getting 39 and a half. 39.5. That is for the other for the back. Yeah. The one we have we put in, um on top of the back so that it comes to overlap the back. So we measure our 39 and a half. Okay. We mark first one here. We go to the other side too. And then mark our 39 and a half 30. Okay. We are done with the body. And now it is left with the sleeve. Please, you, have, you always have to bear in mind this is a long sleeve. The, the sleeve length of the person is 23. Yes, 23. So, we as well go to our calculations. We have our calculator to be calculated. We have our calculation to be calculated. So, when it comes to the sleeve, when it's long sleeves, you have, you have different means of cutting a long sleeves. Um, if you can see my armhole here, this armhole is a little bit bigger. Because it's a short sleeve so that it can be free. But when you are cutting a long sleeve and you make the armhole bigger like this, you can see the sleeve here as normal, but you see this part as big. That would be nice for the long sleeve. So you cut it a little bit shorter. You just reduce the measurement of the sleeve. Yes, so the sleeve length of the person is 20. Two and a half. So me, I take it as 23. 23 is okay. Person is an adult, and adult always they want their things a little bit bigger. They doesn't really want it slim and fitting always. No. So you just add up something a little for them. It depends on your client how your client wants this expense so you can cut something like and I think 19 is okay I think 19 is okay so 19 by 2 19 divided by 2 is 9 and a half. So I think it's okay. This is my half. The sleeve of the person is 22 and a half. 
going to have blasphemy and love one which is half. So we have 23. But in this case, since the calf sleeve, you just have to take the length of the calf out so that it can stand on its own. So in this case, we will get we'll be getting our this cut like 21. 21 plus the calf sleeve, which is quarter, three and quarter. Three and quarter, so we're getting one, two, three. So you come and get another. Okay, so I think 21 is okay. So we start it like 21. Take it to the other side just to make get an accurate measurement. I measure 21 from that side too. Since the person isn't that big, you measure the cutting of the shape of the hands for. If the person is a little bit bigger and you want to cut, you must you can cut this thing bigger and then cut the sleeve downwards at least four and a half. But with our case, then measure. Then you to get something like eleven. I think ten and a half is okay. So the arm will be pressing. You can just cut it to reduce it a little. So this is my sleeve. So with this, with the calf, I measure up to seven, up to seven. This the sleeve, short sleeve length of the person is. Nine. So with nine, I come to add another half to eight. That is the for the sewing allowance. And then with the short sleeve, I get something like forty. So now my shape must come to this one. So the fourteen plus the sewing allowance, which is one inch. So now I must get my shape. On this one to where my seven is so this is the shape I'm getting for my sleeve. Okay, so I come to divide this thing, this remaining, the remaining of this by two, so which is three and a half, and I have the length of my opening of the sleeve of to be three and a half. So this is what I'm getting. I take two out. Please no take note of this. I take only two out. Two. And then I cut through. So now I have make a knot here and make another knot here. Yep. So now my slave is in points now.
So I come back to use I come to the cafes. I get. I'll, let me cut like something like seven. Ata. So now I have the small one, which is the inner one, to at least one and a half is okay. I think the length of the inner one is also because I will cut um, most of the surplus off and there will be of no use. So now I come to my calf lengths. I come to my calf lengths, which is 10, the mouth of my calf lengths, which is 10. Now, then I add another sewing allowance, making it 11. So now I get 11. Let me call it 2. And at least the length is going to be 3 and quarter. So at least I can get 4 and quarter. So this one is 2. I'm cutting the 2 at, at the same time. So I have all the tools here. So I get eleven and then I mark eleven. So I get four of them, two here, two here. And there is something like um, a cover up on, on the next side. But before then, let me cut my neckline. As for the neck, I'm going to attend the fabric. I'm going to this fabric can be used. You can use both sides. Before. So I'm going to use the back, the reverse side of the neckline of the material, the reverse side of the material, the fabric for the neckline. And the neck of the person is 16. But I must get an extra here. So I think now 20 is okay. You get to like 20 after cutting everything. I come to get 18 or 90 in all. So I mark out one inch. You always remember to cut it in a bias form. In a bias form. This is how to make the neckline perfect. Cut from this side.
So this is what we have now. We fold it just like this. Please always remember to divide it into equal parts. Two equal parts. It is very necessary. Please always remember to leave a little bit of one side and the smaller part is going to be the facial part, the, the inner part sorry, and the bigger part is going to be the facial part. This how we are So, if I'm making, like, making it like this, you can choose to fold it in a way just to turn it around. So that you can get your curve in it. For the piping, and so I think this is all we need for our swimming. Kindly remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos of this. So, this is the home of the Spidey's building. So, now we move to the swimming and then we start our swimming. Um, but before then, you cut the neckline so that you see how the neckline is split. So let me start with my neckline and I will show you how to make the neckline. Thank you. So my 13 is here. My 13 is here. And then I come to have another 13 from this side.
right hand line so that I can sew in between the lines and get an accurate just to get an accurate line just an iron pin I'm going to sew this part and then come back to continue with the casting of the so that we will be making any mistakes if you go if you are sewing and you sew more than what you are supposed to do it will affect the shape of the whole thing you have, to, you have to take it into that You can see we have uh, one and a half exactly, one and a half exactly as we wanted. So now we come back, we come to the back side of it so that we wouldn't be having any problem here.
We have our front line, our front side has upgrades. This was cut to excess, so we need to take the excess part off. So now we come to the slanting of both sides. In this case, we can see that sometimes we have some people who have their back down, their back is a little bit down, and it comes in a way if you don't um, if you don't uh, cut the back well, you come to get a folded armhole or armpit. It will be you will get some pleated armpits like that. So if you should cut the back well, you get it well. This person doesn't his back doesn't really go down. So I'm cutting it on three. Three. As you can see, three. Exactly here. So I have three here. So now I mark on the three. Then cut the two together. Remember, I have <coughs> two sides together. You can cut it one after the other, but for me, I cut it. I cut both sides together so that I get an piece or to make a solid leg. Just have to make something, something easy for ourselves. So now we have. Three, our three and a half as our excess. So now we fold at least half inch in. This is the reason why I cut it by three and a half. So I have a half inch on top of it. So as you can see. So now it comes to the neckline. The neckline we have. It's a zip, so we have two and a half, and another two and a half here, and then for the lower part, you come to have four and a half. So you make your curve here. So, 
you raise it up a little so that you wouldn't get something like a choking backside no so you raise it up a little and then cut the back side of it mm -hmm. So now this is what I have. This will be dressed when we are making the neckline. So the back of the person is 19. So 19 divided by 2 is 9.5. Nine 9.5 and a half. Nine and a half plus the sobe allowance, which is half. So now we come to get 10 for the back. We bring it the same 10 down a little. And then for the armhole, you will get the same nine and half. But in this case, since it's it's a long sleeve, we do we take out one inch so that we can get a fitting armhole. So we can get eight and a half from this side. And then we mark our 12, which is the body, and then we bring it down and then mark our 12 again. And then for the opening, since there is a long top, I leave about 11 inches down, 11 inches and then 11 inches, that is for the opening, 11 inches minus 2, which is which is the folding part of the down so remaining nine so now nine of the remaining there when it comes to the armhole you just have to take one inch at the middle part of it there is a tool for the cutting of the armhole but i don't have it so i get my shape here And then I create my shape here. So it's up to me to make a better not creating here. So that is what I have now for the body so i think i'm done so it's up to me to make something nice at the back side of the clothes and for that now we will meet on the table thank you very much and the sewing table kindly remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos of this sort thank you very much just to design the back side i just want to put some excess fabric an excess fabric at the back of it yeah. So that is what I'm getting here. Let's I can make I can get four here. 
I like what I'm getting here as well. And when it comes to the down part, I can at least mark five from the side. So, this is what I have now. I'm just designing the whole thing and this is, you can choose to do this or you can leave it but it makes the whole sewing very neat it looks very neat it makes the sewing very neat you get cut something like three inches here So, you see, this is what I'm getting. I'm turning it, I'm using the wrong side of the fabric. I'm saying the wrong side because that is not um, what I'm not, I'm, I'm really using. That is why I'm calling, I keep calling it the wrong side. If you want us to come and show you how to make this in your shop, in your home, anywhere, you can call the Slagins Clothing. You have our telephone numbers on the screen for you just to see how we make this. We will take our time and then show you step by step how to make even if you need us to teach you on phone, place it in the middle of the. Yes, so there is the middle part. So now we get the middle part of the whole thing and then place it in between. I'm looking for my hair and stuff. I'm going to cut it with the hair and stuff before I take it to the table to sew. Okay, so we take this to the so just from just from the knitting table. So this is what we have now for our decoration, just to decorate the back side of the clothes we are making. So today in this form, it is going to be at the back side, the inner part of 
Well, that's what we are going to see at the end of the day. Okay. Okay, so we just fixed this thing here to make um, our lining or our, our clothing just to beautify it in some of the beautification. We just use the wrong side, some of the wrong side for this. We just make it a straight end. And it is here. You can see it from this side. It has been, I just, I just tackled it a little with um, a hem and stiff. And then we just fold it to this side. It is. It has been left with a little here, just for button. You place a button on this side, so you just iron it well, and then I'll just take it to the ironing board and then the the tailoring board and then just machine and then just tackle this side, just to make it firm. Okay. So thank you. So this is in the making of the. This is the making of the sleeve, the calf sleeve. This is a single folded calf sleeve. This is not a two. If it were to be two, it would be looking a little bit longer, taller than this one, not longer, taller than this one. So, started making the length. And it's ten. Then so we mark one side and then we measure ten on this side too. Put it where it and then measure the same thing from that side too. So get my ten ten on both sides. So this is it. And then I mark my three and quarter. I don't want it to look that much longer so I just have to mark my three and quarter. I just need three and quarter. Even three and a half is even longer for me. So I don't need, I can't find my long room but I think when this one is okay let me just let me take the same measurement from the middle to Okay. So I just want to make the side curve the curvy. So One inch at two size. One inch at two size. So that's it. As you can see.
so this is how it's going to look like after the making just have to turn it properly so that to look neat I prefer when I only I push the down part a little bit forward so that this part can also be shown. So what can be seen? Okay. I'll take this to the ironing board. This is with the cup legs. And this is what I'm getting from my end products. Calling it end products because I think this is how it's supposed to look like. Come to the sleeve itself. Alright, and when it comes to the sleeve itself, this is how it's to be. I give it a little bit stir, but this stir is not the heavy type. This is the, the light one. This is not a heavy stick. This is the soft stick. I, I try to fold it in. I try to fold it in just like this. Just like this. And then at least I, I must have an inch for this. So, then you put it in and you turn it like that. So, to be left with a little bit of excess. So, I wouldn't get that much excess. So, that's what I'm getting. And then, I want it to come to my iron this thing in. this one in there then all I need for this is just some five points so let me measure it five and a half and then I take the excess off and I put it in there then I fold it in just like that just to get that kind of shape I want okay so here's the shape I'm getting now I'm ironing this side so that I can get the line from the other side for my beads. 
Put the SS in and I come to measure. This is not more than one inch. You get exactly one inch. Can I measure my height and half? And I cut the SS off. Hold in just like that. Get that shape that I want. So you fold it just like that, and then apply iron on it, just to get that shape you want. That's what I'm getting. So now I'm almost done with my slate. I only have to go and then join them. So let's go to the sewing machine. Now, showing you all that we cut here, we got in here. We have the fascia part, which is the front part of the whole thing, the cloth, and this is the back side of the cloth as well. There's the back side of it. You see um, some little design in there. And we have the calf lengths, the calf lengths, and we have the sleeve. The sleeve itself here. Yeah, and we have the bias, uh, which is the cord for the piping. There is also it. So, this is all that we are going to need for our sewing. So, I think. This is all that we need now. Thank you. Now the sewing is also going to be on another face. So I think um, next time I'm going to show you how we are going to do the joining of everything, the neckline, how to sew the piping of the neck and the finishing of the whole thing so kindly subscribe to this channel and this is slidings clothing um, we are calling you if you want us to come and then show you how to do this in your home or in your shop you can call us on 024 32 63 589 or 055 sorry 054 042 0011 Call us. You can send us a WhatsApp message and we are good to deliver. If you want a senator wear anything, male and female clothing, everything we are available, we can sew and bring it to your doorstep. We can just send it to you anywhere you are. Thank you very much. We sew at an affordable prices. We are just in Ghana here. Samantha say the eastern part of Ghana. Thank you very much. So this is for the cover of the top. This will be on the top. 
at the top and on this is where we will make the brackets and the two pocket two pound pockets uh, so on this is where we will make the brackets and the two pound pockets yeah. so, so um in the making of the in the making of the piping the piping line the neck piping you have to cross the fabric in the pipe uh, in the bias way you see one part is stretchy and the other is not so you make it in a um, so you cross it in a bias form and then with my piping line, I just want it in a one inch, one one inch bigger or tall. So, and the length, it since it's going to be on a placket, I'll not uh, fix it, fix the placket before. No, I'll fix the placket before, and then I'll join it. So it will be somehow a little bit longer, like twenty three or twenty four, so that when the excess, I'll just cut it off. Yeah, so I'll cut mine. One plus one in making two, and then I'll fold it in that way. Just join the lines and just join the lines, and that's all. This is 21. So we just start making it like this. You see, there's a line in between. You fold one side into the lines just like this, and then you press on. You press on. Always remember to cut it in a bias form. That when folding, it wouldn't be. They wouldn't be like this kind of folding, folding together. I'm lucky this fabric is ironing, very ironing. When you iron it, get fed. It leaves. It's a good fabric for work with. So you then fold it and then when folding you make sure it doesn't um but i can close our camera it doesn't um meet the facing yeah you leave a little line behind it besides so that when sewing you get a sewing allowance yes so that it can hide every rope behind it Just leave some little line behind. Let me put my water. So okay. So yeah. So yeah. Okay, so this is what we will use in the making of well. In the making of my placket, at least I will. The, the size of my placket is one and a half inch. So I'll just mark my one and a half on it and then. So 
I'll just cut it out. Just cut it out and then now, the length of the placket is this is 15 now, but I would like it to be somewhere 14 is okay. So I make my shape making that my face shape. I fold it into two. And then cut it off so I get a nice V shape. Oh, yes. also, if I get my cloak down, then I put it on my place it in just like this, leaving some allowance beside for the in folding for the in folding. I leave a little allowance beside it. I leave some allowance beside it. So it goes like this. It goes just like this. You fold the side and then the side, you cut the side and the side in the shape. Just as you are going to sew, so you fold this side. Just to, uh, just take your time and then iron so that you get a straight line. It doesn't overfold. Fold this side as well. Now I wish I could just add my local dialect. Yeah, that will be in my next video. Kindly. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. So, get in this side. You just have to make it like this and then cut it. Just take your time so that it doesn't cut the top one. You just have to get a straight line. You can mark it as well and then cut it with this. I'm just perfect with it, so I'm not going to cut you. So this is my placket too. Just have to make something small. The length must be a little bit at least one inch or two inch longer than your opening the opening for the pipe um for the placket so any surplus fabric can do this for you at least the the length can be a little bit longer and then the breadth can be somewhere quarter to one one inch okay one inch i think one inch is okay so i just have to fold it like one inch or two inches measure two inches and then fold it through but sometimes i just make an example here to see if it's okay i think even this is too small so i just pull it up a little and then continue with my folding so I make an example, yes, because I'll leave another ones, I don't want it to be <coughs> that late, so. so I think this is okay. It also goes the same way as making the packet. Remember, this is the home of the sliding clothing. This is how we work here. 
we call ourselves the sliding clothing express the sliding clothing express we don't delay in our sewing here we make everything according to if you want something for your occasion you just do this for you but i think this is too big but i think it's okay it's not that much big it's okay but then you have next time I'll just reduce it a little so the my opening at least will be five and a half or six and then this is big this will be the surplus but i'll still have to cut it down after that will be after working yeah so that is it so now since i'm done to be left with my pack pocket no this is not a pack pocket this is going to be a world pocket world pocket or band pocket at the top here yeah, band pocket i think here yeah. i'll make it a band pocket it has a two opening just like this one with a rule loop just like this one so in this case i'll just cut my bound pocket and then take it to the sewing machine so cutting this is six inches so i think in this case we will meet on the machine for our sewing thank you very much so this is the hands the cover of the of the cufflinks and this is the cufflinks so the length of the hands have a bed is just like that so 22 and a half i cut this one the length is 21 for now and then when it comes to the end of the cufflinks the length of the cufflinks i will make it like around three and quarter so that in addition I will get like twenty four and then the length will be so this my balloon There's the hard one. So I'll just use the step on it and then After stiffening every size, and now then come and then fold the side and side at least in a half inch. For the sewing, This is what I get. So this is what I get for the sleeve. So after folding side of the sleeve, yes, so there are still more allowance for the sewing. So this is the cover. 
place it here and I must have some little little ones the inner part of the covers that one you can mark it like one inch yeah. Yeah, one inch or one and a half inch yeah. so one and a half inch this is the wrong side of the fabric From this one to this, the ones have to be fired. So, the length, this is how it goes for the sleeve. <coughs> So with the sleeve, I think I'm done with this. So I still can't the back. I'll have to get some let's let me tackle the back first. I'll use this design fabric. This is a check fabric. I'll use it with, um, at the back of the cloth just to make it just to beautify the work that I'm doing at the back of the just to be the fence. Yeah. So it's up to it's just up to that. This is what I'm getting. Please can you subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more. Next time we are going to show learn how to sew a selector where we can zip and this part the length is not up to so i'll use a different part at least with this side i must get a with the side i must get at least five inches and then down to five inches or even if this side, if I don't get five inches, any inches that I get, but I, it must not be less than four inches. So I get four and a half. It's okay. While coming down, I just have to increase the length. So I'm getting five and a half down here. Yes. And also, I'll go and then need use knitting over this side. This is for the back. Hello, good afternoon, welcome to the home of the slide. Today we are here to learn something new. Um, a senator where how to cut and sew a senator where with a flathead and two 
bound pockets. Yes. So you can really look covered. Um, so please, before you go to the table, please kindly subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos of this kind. Thank you. Let's so guys, before we start everything, um, the measurement I'm using is, the, the chest of the person is uh, 42. Yeah, so we have 42 as the chest and um, we have the back of the person as 19. The back as 19. So... From and the length of the person is, I think, twenty to see, yeah, thirty four. The length of the top I'm about making is thirty four. It's a long top, so we take it like that. And we started, so you divide the chest by four plus your allowance. As for me, I'll just add about one inch allowance to both sides. So. Let's assume four plus four. So the chest is 42. So in my case, the 42 is there. So when we, are, we take it to the sewing part, I'll show you how we are going to make it. And the sleeve of the, of the person is, there is a long sleeve top, a senator top. So the sleeve is 22 and a half, 22.5. Which is calf length. Yeah, a calf length. So we start by slanting. The slanting, so let me push it to the top and then make it. I want it to I want it to look the same so so that there wouldn't be any like after cutting and then and then I'll slant the back of the person. The person's shoulder comes a little bit down it's a little bit slanting so i will have to cut it by like three inches three inches if it's someone with a normal shoulder i will just cut it by two and a half but this one his shoulder goes a little bit down so i'll just cut it three if it goes more down like you have someone whose shoulder goes very down you cut it like three and a half but in this case I'll cut it like three inches because his shoulder isn't that much lantern, but it goes down. It's not a normal shoulder. So I'll cut it by three inches. So I mark my three inches from the top to the shoulder part and then I'll cut it. Um, I'll cut it like that. So I put it to the down part. I'll pull it to the down part. And I turn it. I place it on, on top of I place the back on the top my steam isn't working the iron I'm having a little bit problem with my iron so the steam isn't working so I cast the neck the neck which is two and a half since it's an adult, the neck is giving me two and a half. And then from the top to the down, gives me four and a half. Four and a half. So I mark it through. I mark it through to get my curve very well. So this is the neck for you so i raise it a little bit so that it wouldn't be like it's hanging on the person's neck so i start the cutting from the lower part of the back and then i cut it through my margins the lines i've marked so i get it like that and then 
I join it to the front part of it. Need to get a neat neck. So this is for the neck line. Okay. So the back of the person is 19. So I mark my 19 plus the sewing so allowance, ones, which is half inch. So 19 plus half gives me 10. So I get my 10. I come a little bit down and then mark the 10 from that place to and then since this one is a long sleeves and i'm um, to cut divide um i'm um, to divide the back into two plus sewing allowance if it were to be a short sleeve i'll get 19 will be um nine and a half yes nine and a half plus nine and a half is 19. so since this one is long sleeve, I have to reduce it by one, one inch. So in this case, I get eight and a half for the long sleeves. So, and the test of the person is 42. For 42, I'll mark 12. I'll mark 12, as you can see. And then I come a little bit down and then mark 12 from that point. And then my allowance, the opening at the, of the down part, I'll mark, I'll leave about 10 inches, 10 inches, 2 inches sewing allowance, and then it will give me like 8. Yeah. So 10 inches is okay. From here to here, I'll get, since there is a long top, that is what I'll get. Um, so, so, let me make it 11 and then leave. Since it's a long top, I'll leave about nine inches long. So I draw, I join my lines together. I join my lines together. There's my markings. There's my armhole. My armhole. And then from the armhole, you divide it by two. This is nine, so I'll have to mark from nine. This is no, yeah. So I assume it is nine. It is eight and a half, though. But I assume it is nine. Yeah, eight and a half. So eight, eight and a half divided by two. You get so you let me mark it on the four, and then minus one. I mark one in so that I can get the shoulders in. There is a tool for this marking, but in my case, I don't have the tool right now. So I use my freehand sketch. So freehand sketch, I mark from the curve. I mark from the curve. So this is what I get for my curve. And then I mark in a little, this is at least one inch in for the shape of the glue. Yeah, from the shape of the blood. This is what I get. So this is the whole thing, and then I cut through. So this is for the finishing of the curtain.